Hey everybody, Invisible Gutani here doing my top five moments from the Devolver Digital Press Conference. Uh, basically, there were only five things to talk about anyway, so I didn't even bother ranking them. I'm just going to kind of go in order of uh, what happened at this really weird, I think like 15 minute little press conference. I'm like, okay. When I first kind of saw that it was uploaded, I was like, alright. I saw the IGN's thing, and I was like, wow, that's weird, it's only like 15 minutes, and I was like, oh, I get it now, it's like a whole little sketch thing, so that's why it was so short, it was just like, let's be silly, here's some stuff, silly stuff, and then we're done. So, it was even crazier than like the Bethesda thing, where I was like, okay, you know, that was pretty short, this was half that, so I was like, alright, that's pretty interesting, but... You know, it starts up, it's really silly. Um, I thought it was IGN doing something because those were the people from IGN. Um, at least one of the ladies I recognized because I was watching, uh, I've been watching IGN's coverage. I was like, oh, okay, so this is like, they're doing like some sort of like live stream reaction to it. That's interesting. And then they start swearing and they went to like other random people. And I was like, what the heck is going on here? I still didn't get that it was a part of like the whole thing. And so once it kicked in, I was like, oh, okay, I get it now. Like, this is just really, really crazy. But going through the list, uh, the first thing that happened was the game uh, Ruiner. I would assume it's Ruiner, unless it's supposed to be Runner with one N. Um, and a super fancy U, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be Ruiner. Uh, top-down game, that's pretty much all the games were top-down. But it looked really cool. It had, like, a million different weapons. Um, and it, it just seemed interesting. It had a nice little trailer to it. It was very simple, but it looked kind of cool. It seemed like the type of game, the sort of top-down thing that I like to have where... It's the top-down game, because normally those are all, like, just shooters, and it's just, like, you know, the twin-stick shooters. And you just go around, you kill aliens or zombies or whatever, and it's super fast-paced. But you only get, like, a couple of weapons. This seemed like it had, like, two dozen weapons. And, you know, you get, like, a katana, what they call the shocker, um, a bunch of other weapons. You get, like, machine guns, handguns, shotgun, katana, laser weapons, throw mines, bomb, you know, all that stuff. It was, like, a bunch of different weapons in there, so I thought that looked pretty cool. Didn't show any inclination that it might be uh, two players at some point, but I think that would be really cool with the insane variety of weapons. Maybe you have to pick a certain amount of weapons. You can't have every weapon you know, all the time, especially with how many they showed. It would be kind of weird cycling through that. Maybe you could do that on PC where it's like, this is, you know, weapons 1 through 20, but on a console, can't really do that. So I thought that was you know pretty cool. It was a nice looking game. Second thing that showed up, well, another top-down game, Serious Sam. Very different styling for Serious Sam. I never knew, um, I never would have expected to see Serious Sam look this way, but it's a top-down game. It has, like, the retro style to it, and it's interesting. You know, they have uh, co-op, uh, online co-op, I assume, hopefully, offline co-op as well, but co-op mods, they have a survival mode on there, and it actually looked pretty interesting. It's not the type of thing that I would get, but it seemed interesting, and, you know, when they showed the co-op thing, I was like, okay, so it's like four-player co-op, because they have, like, one person playing, then there were, like, four names on the side, and then in the next clip, there were, like, ten names on the side, so this is like, you know, you play, like, Call of Duty, there's, like, a bunch of people in this, um, crazy online thing, so it's not co-op, maybe they have a co-op mode in there, um, I think that would be cool to have co-op, and then have, oh, excuse me, have, uh, the versus mode as well, with, like, just a bunch of people running around, you know, shooting at each other, but I thought that was interesting, like I said, Never would have expected to see Serious Sam like that. For anyone who may not know what Serious Sam is, it's kind of like Doom and uh, Duke Nukem. It's just like that crazy first-person shooter game. It's kind of like right in between those. Like, Doom is like the serious one. Then you have Serious Sam, which isn't as serious as it, the name might imply. And then Duke Nukem is like the really, really crazy one. So that's kind of like the scaling. But they're all kind of the same where you fight monsters and aliens and just use crazy weapons and it can get super gory. Um... But yeah, Serious Sam is like the one right in between. It's like, it's not as crazy as Duke Nukem as far as the dialogue, because Duke Nukem is just like the craziest dialogue ever. It's just weird stuff. But it's like right in between. Like, Doom is serious. Serious Sam is a little less serious than Doom. And then Duke Nukem is just like not serious at all. So it's that's like right in between. But it's that sort of game. It's a first person shooter dealing with aliens, going to random locations, and just finding crazy creatures. So very odd to see it in this um, old school retro style, especially top down twin stick shooter but seemed interesting after that um probably if i was naming these this, this would probably be my number one thing and it's suda 51 don't know what he's doing uh with devolver digital but suda 51 is behind you know killer 7 uh, no more heroes which is one of my favorites killer is dead i'm currently doing a let's play of that on my channel which is really fun and I just like Suda51. He makes crazy games, and I'm excited to see what they do with that. So, Devolver Digital mixing with Suda51, 
and he always had some weird ideas, grasshopper manufacturer. They just do some really crazy stuff. So looking forward to whatever that's going to be. That was like the one thing that they had where they make the joke about super extreme early access, where it's like when it's conceptualized, it's already on sale. So this was kind of like that thing because they don't really have anything for it just yet to show off. But they're working with Suda51, so that's good enough for me because I like the stuff that he puts out. And then after that, the final thing that they showed off, which I think has some elements of realism in it, even though they were making like the crazy joke. It's like the end piece where they blow up, you know, the announcer's head and stuff, and they're, she's bleeding from her nose, and everything just goes crazy, and that's the end of it. But they talk about uh, comment creator, com comment created content. So I think there's some level of realism to that where it's not, you know, every single thing, like kind of how she was saying, like everything you guys comment is what we'll create. I think it's going to be a sort of thing where it's like, they are going to get involved with the community and it's like, hey, I think this should be in the game or maybe alter this and make a new weapon like this. I think they will take the greatest ideas that people comment on or comment about and they'll actually put those into some of their games. I think that's a cool idea. Like I said, hard to tell if any of that was real because it was obviously like their ending piece, but I think there's some level of realism to that where it's like they're actually going to be doing uh, kind of some, some greater community involvement. And that's just always cool for a developer to do that. And at least it's some really fun ideas. You have people who come up with great ideas that other people enjoy. And then also people have their own ideas put into a pretty awesome game. It's like, I came up with that. So that's like kind of two layers of cool things. So I thought that was nice, you know, a simple way to end it out. Like I said, it was really hard to see if any of that was real because they have, you know, a lot of silly stuff like what they were saying with once it's conceptualized by a developer, it's already on sale and they say silly stuff like that. It's hard to say if any, you know, anything they said at the, that during that end piece was real at all. But I do believe that there was some realism to that where it's like, yeah, they're going to actually look at the community and what people are saying they want and they might actually put that stuff in there and it's you know with games like twin stick shooters especially like the serious sam thing where it's a retro style it's a bit easier you know it's not as crazy as like a full-on thing like if naughty dog tried to do that for uncharted that would take a lot more time you have like full 3d rendered models and you know way way more stuff to deal with than you know kind of a top-down thing where the angles can't change and stuff like that it's a lot less to deal with but i think that's cool if any of that was real i think it would be cool but that's it for their super tiny 14 15 minute conference that was just really one giant scale which i really loved it was very silly and like when they did the throwing the money at the screen thing i love that that was probably my favorite part about the uh actual skit portions but Silly conference. We'd love to know what you guys thought about it. If you're fans of Devolver Digital, how you guys felt about this conference. Uh, for me personally, I'm not like huge on Devolver Digital. I just, if there's a game I like, I like it. Devolver Digital isn't like really in my headspace, so they don't have stuff that I'm like crazy about. But we'll see what this Ruiner game does, because that definitely looked really cool to me. So I, I am excited to check that out and see some more footage of it and exactly how many weapons are actually going to be in that game, if they will end up doing co-op for that. Because that one looked really cool. So that actually does have me excited. I think I'll actually end up checking that out and at least looking up some more information on it. But we'll love to know how you guys felt about this crazy little conference. We'll love to know how you guys felt about the feel of it in general, like outside of the games, them doing like this weird little skit thing. We'll love to know how you guys felt about that. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. And of course, thanks for watching.